Worker safety is not something that's new to the chicken industry. It's something that we have embraced as one of our core values for a long time and well before COVID-19. It's important that people realize that our industry has been using protective equipment for decades and we have changed our protective equipment over time. It's something that's been part of our culture, just the same as worker safety has been part of our culture for decades. When they come into the plant, everybody gets their temperature taken. They are asked to wash their hands, sanitize their hands. They're given their PPE, and then they put on their PPE. There are lots of signs on walls to talk about best practices in a variety of different languages. It's important that we can adequately communicate to everyone that comes in what those best practices are, how to make sure that you protect the safety of not only yourself, but those that are around you. We have an entire shift dedicated to sanitation. And during those sanitation shifts, all the equipment is broken down, sanitized, cleaned. People get in with flashlights to make sure that every nook and cranny is completely cleaned. And it has to be very sterile. And then U.S. Department of Agriculture Food Safety and Inspection Service will verify how well the plant did before they are released to start processing birds. We're always looking at new science and new technologies and ways to do our job better ways to make our employees safer, ways to make our food safer. From our family farmers who are raising our chickens, to the feed mills that are making the feed, to the hatcheries where the baby chicks come from, and to the folks working in the processing plant. Everybody involved in this industry has been on the front lines. Without their dedication, we would not be able to provide that nutritious protein that you've come to rely on, and for that, we thank you for your dedication.